Well, don't be shy. It's a great opportunity. Um, I'll kick off, I guess, if uh, then. Okay, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yes. In our smart, we will teach in our smart. All right. Yes. In a few days, you will teach in our smart. In the smart. On a workshop here. Right? Yes. Correct? Yeah. He, excuse me, he's actually teaching it this weekend, the Inner Smile. Yeah. Monday he'll be giving a healing love workshop. I've got the programme if anyone is interested. It's and related to sexual energy too? Yes. Um, you know, Inner Smile is used for everything. So the first thing, that, like that in, the, in the sexual practice, the first thing you have to learn how to smile, we call it a smiling sunshine. Because sexual organ is material, and if you want to transform a material, you need fire. That's all. So the simple thing we see here, you have the big piece of rock, a, a piece of wood, and you start the fire, you burn them, you change the energy. And the Einstein said, E equal m c squared. You, when you change to energy, you cannot destroy, only transform them. Okay. So, the inner smile, when you get it, you're creating like a smiling sunshine down, shining to the sexual organ, the smile. It's what in the heart? Huh? It's what in the heart? Heart is, the, heart is fire. So we're regarding the heart like fire. So we have to create a few things. Heart is fire, sexual organ regarding water. So you have to know. So you make it simple and you can do it. Otherwise, too mysterious. So like in the heart fire, we said, you start with the heart and you grow the love, the joy and happy, and you condense them and turn them to be loving fire and compassion fire. Now you have fire and you have sexual organ in material, the sperm and egg is material. So you start the fire and you transform the sexual, and sexual organ into fire. And that's all in one with the smile. Awesome. So, I have a question. You, you, one of the exercises you talk about in your book is uh, for men to practice uh, when they're urinating in the yes. bathroom to try and stop and go try so, so they can control uh, their PC muscle. Is that right? Yes. Uh, and can you explain how what, why that's useful and and why why men the, should should, the, should try the whole ur urinating method is first thing. You have to train to inhale, lightly contract the perineum. The second, you're pushing down. It's just like one up, one down, and you compress. So the prostate gland usually sort of up. You get older, older, it's getting bigger and bigger. So now, the first thing you have to learn how to contract them, to squeeze them. So you, when you relax enough, you, you picture the prostate gland. You have to know the location and know how they look and your mind connect, that's all. And you smile to the prostate gland, you inhale, very gentle, exhale contracting, that's the first thing. Now when you feel the prostate gland, you very gentle contract, and you're pushing down, you see? You're pushing down toward the prostate gland, and you stand on the toes, okay? You stand on the toes, and you're pushing down, and you urine. <coughs> In this way, you get your urine stream are stronger and your urine are much better. And you also tighten it and you're strengthening the kidney. That's what the adult believe that. So oftentimes, you rub the kidney and you inhale and you exhale. Shhh, you urine out and release. Shhh, release. Okay. You can feel that if you do every day. You get stronger kidney, stronger back, and you have more control in the ejaculation. And that's why you can practice when you urine. But the very important part is standing on the toes because it's all tendons are connected <coughs> to the sexual organ.